trained on that thing your whole life. Let's go. Sixteen, come on. Seventeen, you're nearly there. Eighteen. Nineteen. Let's go. Hurry up. There we are. Lead it. Bye. There we go. Where's three? Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Knees to the ground. Four. Two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. 28. Line seven. Break. Charlie. Line six. Line eight. Possible. Nine line is as follows. <laughs> Well, I'll pull him. I'm going to have you pull security, okay? Forward, all right? Finding. I'm looking for any kind of chest movement for breathing. Oh, uh, yeah. Anything? Yes. I'll go straight ahead back here. Get him off the X. Where to? Uh, straight ahead. Give me a final direction. Ah. <laughs> What's he in the zone on that? Um. Let's go. Try to make up time. Mike Foxtrot eight seven seven zero. Come on, shoot it! Shoot it! Let's go! Let's go! 19!
Okay, I'm Sergeant Jordan Alexander Pryor, 1137 Signal Company, T-I-N-E. I feel like this competition makes everybody competitive, so I learned a lot since I've been here, getting hands-on at every event, with like PMI before every event, land nav, then also the 12 mile ruck, and also the ACFT will be great to bring back to the unit to show everybody like, hey, actually let's compete at drill instead of just everybody going to pass. Let's okay. actually let's compete this time. And it, it, it like, it makes everything fun and brings like energy to the unit. It feels like, I feel it's like an honor to be at, like I'm, I'm a new E5, I've only been E5 for like eight months and my first sergeant calls me and tells me, hey, we, Sergeant Major wants you to compete in the uh, best warrior competition and gave me like a sense of pride. So far, my favorite event was the ACFT. Me and a couple soldiers got into like the competing spirit, so that was pretty fun. Then I'm also looking forward to the 12 mile ruck to see how fast I can actually compete and see how fast I can get it done. Yeah, and this, every, every NCO should come through here, at least put your name out there. Okay, it's, it's a good, like even in the future, like if you want a job, people remember, oh yeah, you competed at the best warrior competition. So I think every NCO or anybody that plans to have a long military career should try to compete in this event. Hopefully, if I bring the trophy home, I'll have some bragging rights in my unit and hopefully some young NCO or young lower enlisted be like, hey, I want that trophy. I want to steal it from you so we can compete. So they can put their name out there. Hopefully it does. Staff Sergeant Christopher Hoffman, 5th Battalion, 54th Brigade, SFAB. <laughs> Staying sharp with all of our skills and abilities, it, it all goes back to your basic soldier's task and battle drills. So you have to be an expert soldier first and then work on the things that are more difficult. If you have that fundamental base of being a soldier, it will take you further in your career and it is always our baseline for any standard operating procedures. It's an honor for me. Um, I come from a unit where we are selected and we have to try out and we all work hard and we are all advisors on a team. So we're a close-knit team and we work hard together. Um, so we're, we pretty much treat each other as equals. So to be selected is a great honor and I plan on supporting them. Absolutely, any military event you go to can be a mentorship opportunity for the lower enlisted. So talking to them about things that they can work on that we notice, as well as helping them prepare things they may not notice, such as how to prepare for this competition. There's a lot of physical fitness events that tires you and strains you out. So if you come into this prepared by studying beforehand, you will be in a better position. We have a reputation. SFAB stood up in 2018 for the Ohio Army National Guard. We have sent soldiers in the past that have done very well, and we plan on keeping the trophy going. I am Specialist Shock. First name is Joshua. My unit is the 1192nd Engineer Company. Uh, the Best Warrior Competition, uh, what it means to me, um, first of all, it's an incredible honor to just even have the opportunity because I'm sure there's a lot of people who would love the opportunity, but maybe they weren't chosen, maybe they just, timing didn't work out for them. Uh, so for, first of all, I'm honored um, to compete with these guys um, and I'm humbled because uh, it, it's in more, more times than not when you're competing in a competition like this, you're used to being at the top, maybe in your other facets of you know, your unit and stuff, but you come to something like this and you find yourself middle of the pack or maybe even the bottom of the pack. Uh, and it's just like a wake up call of like, I, I have so much more I need to do. I, I have so much more I need to train on and uh, so much more knowledge to study. So honored and humbled. Uh, so my motivation to join the competition um, last year, the one I did last year, uh, my mom passed last year from cancer and something she said to me before she passed was if you have your health you have everything and so I, that's really stuck to me and I just thought about all the areas of my life where I do complain and I shouldn't and I do have my health and so I figure why I have my health I should push myself to the absolute limits and this competition competitions like these really get you there and push you beyond what you think you're capable of. Um, what I do on the civilian side is not quite as not 
So Civilian. I'm on uh, ADOS for the North Team um, in the Ohio Honor Guard. And so every day I uh, get my dress blues ready, go out to a funeral service for a veteran um, with a teammate or if we have a full honors, nine of us, and uh, do the flag fold in the ceremony and present to the, to the loved one. And we don't wear a name tag or anything because it's not about us. And it's an incredible honor to be a part of that team. And yeah, there's nothing else I'd rather do. I feel it at every service is so fulfilling and it makes me proud to be in the Army and so thankful that I am still alive and can continue to do things like this. Right. I do. I believe it's prepared me for the best warrior competitions because it has given me a greater appreciation for life. And when you have that greater appreciation, I think you take things more seriously mm -hmm. and enjoy them more when they're happening. So it's allowed me to be more present and really enjoy what's going on around me. <laughs> I don't think there's the one answer for what it takes to win the best warrior competition. I think you need a lot of different things. Um, you need to be fit, uh, you need to have stamina, but not just physically. Uh, you need to have the mental stamina to get through these four days of grueling events. That. So I think physical stamina and mental stamina, if you have a great combination of the two, you're going to win this thing. What advice I would give to someone who's interested in being in the best warrior competition uh, would be to just do it. Don't think about it, don't ask people for advice or what they think, you, you know, if you should or you shouldn't. Just do it and you won't regret it. Uh, my hometown is Sandusky, Ohio.